walking straight into the house on the covered porch. This house is a uh, concrete block stucco type construction. Looks like it's fairly solidly built. Of course you uh, see where it needs to be painted, cleaned up. Looks like we may have some vagrants that have kind of had their way with the property. It's also been vandalized as we'll see when we move inside the house which we're going to do now. When you enter the house you are entering into the living room area. A fairly decent sized living area and again you just have to overlook the garbage, the debris and visualize the potential of the property once it is repaired, restored, etc. Looking back out the front door. And again, I want to give you a 360 degree view just so that you can orient yourself and see what the property has to offer. Here we have what really is a fairly nondescript room. I'm not sure exactly how this room would be used not really suitable for a dining area. And it's amazing because when I first arrived it was quiet enough to hear a pin drop and now it's like the community has come alive because they see somebody walking around with a camera. But anyway, we're going to ignore ignorance. Moving on through into the hallway. Here is a room that I would consider to be a bedroom. However, vandalism, they've torn down what should be a door here, separating this room from the rest of the house. And again, I want you to be able to get a 360 degree view of the entire room. We've got one window. That's the toilet that should be in the bathroom, but again, vandals have kind of made their way or had their way with the house. This is the closet for this room, which is adjacent to and shares a wall with or did share a wall with the bathroom. And as you can see, this is where vandals have come in and ripped out the drywall trying to get to the copper which is a common problem really nationwide right now. Not a major repair item. It's really basically just restoring the framework and the drywall. It's nothing major. Looks worse than it actually is. Walking back into the hallway and again to your left we have this mystery room which we really don't know what the purpose of this room is and then we have the living room and again back out the front door just for orientation purposes so you know exactly how the floor plan of the property flows this is the bathroom let's get a little bit of lighting in here as much as we can anyway You see what we're dealing with. Again, this repair looks worse than it actually is. The floor actually appears to be and feels fairly stable. Make sure we don't run up on any snakes that have decided to make this property home since it is vacant. Have to be very careful when in and out of these vacant properties. But again, replacing the plumbing the tub, the drywall, it's not as bad as it looks. Alright, walking back out of the bathroom to your right, this is a room that I would consider to be a den. And again, flooring would be required throughout the property. Either a combination of tile and carpet. I don't think it would be cost effective to um, 
try to install hardwoods. Plus hardwoods would really be an over improvement for this particular property in this particular area. We've got some minor drywall damage to this wall here. And again, for orientation purposes, that's out to the hallway. That first door to the right is back into the living room. All right. And we're going to pause right here before we proceed to the kitchen area. We'll be right